Maybe we're crazy, and we are two crazy ketos, but we love Mondays because Monday is keto on the couch. Well, I have another reason I love Monday. There is a new company called Wonder Monday, and they have keto cheesecakes. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we try some new cheesecakes, you'll be alerted to it. So recently a company named Wonder Monday reached out to us and said, hey, we have a new keto cheesecake would you be interested in trying it? And yes. I was like, yes. Every day, yes. Because I love cheesecake. Me too. And that's one great, amazing thing about keto is cheesecake is perfectly keto. Yeah, so long as you get the sweetener and the crust right, it's a great keto treat. What I really like about this is it comes in these little individual servings. So they don't get all gnarly too in, in transit. Well, it also helps me control myself because if I look down, I'm like, I can have one instead of looking at a cake and being like, I don't know, that piece looks bigger than that piece. Everything I, is or, one serving. Yeah, so it, I like when something comes like this. It's like something that comes individually wrapped. It helps me control myself. This looks like it's also really good when it comes to maybe having a party or something like that because you can set these out. They don't need to know I didn't make these. So they sent these to us. We actually have four flavors, but they actually do have five flavors. One of them is not represented here, uh, which is a strawberry flavor. Kind of would have loved to taste that one, but I think at the time that they sent this, they didn't have any of those. So here's what we have here. We have a salted caramel, a New York mm. cheesecake, a double chocolate, and a pumpkin spice, which wow. I believe is limited edition. Do you want to go ahead and try all these? Yes. Okay, which one are we going to try first? Well, do you know which one is which? Like, I'm assuming New This York looks pumpkin. Yeah, and that's definitely that's chocolate. That's salted caramel, chocolate, New okay. York. So where do we want to start first? New York, New York. Oh, I got you a fork. Thank you. I get my own fork? So we'll just go ahead and take a little bite off of each one. Yeah. Now there is, uh, some of these have a crust, some of them don't. This one's not crusty. Dink Ready? it? Dink. Dink. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh man. That's good because New York cheesecake, it should have a little sour note. Right, right. And that has a perfect sour note, not too sour. Wow. The sweetness is perfect. The sweetness is so perfect. And I would have to say, this tastes exactly like cheesecake we used to eat even pre-keto. Mm. Mm. That is really good. Nailed no cooling it. effect from any oh, kind of no. sweetener or anything like that. Let me cleanse my palate with some coffee. Okay. Mmm. Wow. That is good. Um, salted right. caramel or chocolate? Whichever. you. I picked this one first. Let's go salted caramel. All right. I like the decoration on top. The swirly is pretty. And we just put this right in the freezer. Yeah, when we came, we stuck it in the freezer. And now that we're doing the video, we Dink. put it out. Now there is a little bit of a crust on the bottom of this one. Okay. Mm. That's good. That I don't, is good. I don't notice a huge difference no. between that and the New York. Oh, it's not like it's not as sour. I feel like it's, it's not as sour. It tastes like this, but not sour. Yeah, so it's got a slight caramel flavor. I like that crust. But uh, it, it, I don't notice a huge difference. Just like you said, not as sour. Mm. Let's uh, do chocolate next and say pumpkin spice because I feel like the spices in pumpkin have might a, might affect us. Have a cleansing coffee. Mm. Wow, cheesecake goes so great with I coffee. Love cheesecake. All right, I'm gonna go in this one. Well, I don't want to ruin all the other ones. Oh, oh it's, and that has a really nice bottom to it. Looks like it's almost like the crust is on so top. So you got chocolate and then something across the top, mm. almost like a, a cream or something. Yeah. Mmm. 
very chocolatey. I, I like that. Mm-hmm. It's very rich. It's almost... It's wow. Almost like, it's almost like a very thick mousse. Yes. Right. That, that is good. That is delicious. And honestly, you know, not everybody likes cheesecake. Right. It was an acquired taste for me. That's what I would get for like your non-cheesecake friends. Yeah, that that doesn't have that little bit of a sour note that you would no. have in cheesecake. Oh my that gosh. That is really good. That I like is that good. Mm. Okay. Pumpkin spice. Ooh. Let me cleanse out again because I put some more chocolate down my pie hole. Okay, here okay. we go. Oh, there's a crust on this one. All right. I want the crust. I, I don't wait, wait. Wait to dink. Oh my wow. god. Wow. Wow, that is pumpkin pie. The pumpkin flavor on that. That is amazing. Is amazing. Wow, it's got now it has um the spices. It's oh that's pumpkin. I I wow. I'm telling you, I feel like I'm eating pumpkin pie. I mean, it's it's a cheesecake, but boy, does that have a pumpkin pie flavor. That really, and a really, does. really, really good consistency. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Put the forks down, five mm -hmm. things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Number one. The ingredients. Okay, so the nutrition label and everything is on the bottom of this, so I do have a little slide that I pulled up. We're gonna start off, we have the classic New York cheesecake. Ingredients are pasteurized culture and cream, uh, allulose, eggs, almond flour, cream, milk protein, vanilla extract, lemon powder, which is citric acid, lemon oil, and lemon juice, cinnamon, salt, and then contains less than 2% of guar gum, carob gum, stevia, natural flavors. That is some of the cleanest ingredients I've ever seen on anything. That, those are some clean ingredients, especially for it's something like homemade. coming from a bakery or, or any kind of prepackaged thing. Yeah. Let's check out some of the other flavors. So we have chocolate decadence is pasteurized cultured milk and cream, allulose, eggs, almond flour, cream, cocoa powder, milk protein, Water, vanilla extract, cinnamon, salt, contains less than 2% of guar gum, carob gum, stevia, natural flavors. Dude, that is amazing. I feel really good about that. Yeah, do you wanna check out the other two? Yeah. So pumpkin spice is pasteurized cultured milk and cream, allulose, pumpkin, eggs, almond flour, cream, milk protein, vanilla extract, cinnamon, salt, spices, and then 2% of guar gum, carob gum, and stevia, and natural flavors. Oh my gosh, like I'm sorry, but I am honestly shocked. The, I, it, those ingredients are good. It tastes, like something you would get from a restaurant and I would be worried the entire time. Like I was supposed to recently go out to Cheesecake Factory and I was like having that thought, like, should I try it? I'm sure that it's not gonna have good ingredients. Even if they have a keto friendly one, I'm not gonna be able to trust it. This is amazing. I think the ingredients in these are really good. You wanna go to number two. Yes. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? We will go back up to the New York Cheesecake. Okay, so a serving size is one cake. Yes, it better be. 100 calories, 10 grams of fat, three grams of protein, nine total carbs. Then you've got less than one dietary fiber, and it says no sugar al alcohols, but you've got eight grams of allulose. So that makes it one net carb, and I'm personally okay with taking out allulose. Now, I still believe in having a total carb cap because right. Otherwise, I'm gonna eat like 10 of them, yeah, right? Because easily. you'd be going, oh, 10 of them. One net carb. 10 net carbs, but that would be like close to 100 total carbs. So that's why, we that's why I put a total carb cap. But uh, let's take a look at some of the other ones. Here's your chocolate decadence. Wow, so you're looking at, a, and again, it must be 100 calories is, is the aim that they're going for. Nine grams of fat, three grams of protein, 10. Total carbohydrates for chocolate and you got eight grams of allulose and one gram of dietary fiber so they're keeping it at one net carb and then we have a uh, pumpkin spice all right so that's nine 90 calories all right 90 calories nine grams of fat three grams of protein 10 total carbs one gram of fiber eight grams of allulose so one net carb. And then we do have the salted caramel, which looks like it's back up to 100. Yeah, so 100 calories, 10 grams of fat, three grams of protein, nine total carbs, less than one fiber, eight grams of allulose. 
Wow. I'm really, really impressed. Oh my god. I'm very impressed with that because again, I think it's it's a great thing if you're having a party or if you're going to a party, you want to bring a little finger food. And I have to tell you, maybe it's me, but I don't think most people, if you don't lion king this, no. would know that there's no actual sugar in these. Well this is this is up there, like you said, on like a cheesecake factory level. It really is that good. And I think that this is nice for anybody in your life, whatever their dietary concerns are, because if they're calorie conscious for whatever reason, 100 calories or 90 calories, they're not going to expect they're getting a very decadent dessert. Like, right. this This ain't no, like, slim fast nonsense. Yeah. Like, this is good. Well, let's talk about number three. How do they taste? I don't think we need to say much more. Again, I think they're up there on the level of a non-keto cheesecake. If, really? If you told me that, hey, here's a cheesecake, and I tasted it, I would think there's sugar in it. I think they have the perfect amount of sweetness. There's no cooling effect because they're not using any yeah. erythritol or anything. The creaminess is perfect. The flavor is dead on. The only one I would say is like, I, other than the, the missing the sour note, there's not a huge difference between salted yeah. caramel and New York cheesecake. I, I completely agree. I was going to say that my number one three, like my three, how does it taste? My, my only concern is this doesn't taste like salted caramel. It just tastes like a less sour this. Yeah. So if you're trying to mix and match and do multiple ones, and I don't know if they have any bundles or deals for that, but like you're gonna be let down if you get this and this because there's not just not that much of a taste difference. Either one is good, yeah. but they taste very similar. Well, let's move on to number four. How much do they cost? We're gonna shift over to their website. And uh, so here's their website. It's called wondermonday.com. And we will go over to the shop now. And when you go to their website, it, they do have a variety pack. Okay. So good. here's your variety pack. It is $64. And with that variety pack, you're going to get the New York Classic Strawberry Bliss Chocolate Decadence, Decadence and Salted Caramel. But you can also get it in just 28 of the different flavors. So I'd have to $64. Know. So two twenty nine per cake. I'd have to really know what my flavor was ahead of time. Otherwise, I, I'm going to get the variety pack because I'd want to know what every different thing tastes like. Yeah. Now I would say it's the salted caramel is not bad. No. I just don't notice a huge difference between it and getting the New York cheesecake. But yeah. some people may not want the sourness that comes with the New York cheesecake. True. If you're getting it the first time, I would recommend going ahead and getting that, you know, variety Original. pack, especially if you're having a party or going to a party. I knew it wouldn't close, right? The fork was in the way. I know. So I think that that's a great way. So two twenty nine dollars a cake, definitely, I don't think it's that bad. No, it's a fancy pants dessert. Number five, would we recommend this? Is it a treat? Yes. I mean, the cost keeps it kind of prohibitive, but I would much rather have this on the ready than to have to make a batch of cheesecake every single time because I'm gonna eat the whole cheesecake. Right. This I'm really gonna be responsible with. And we froze it and took it out. And I think you could pop one of these guys out fairly easily, mm -hmm. put it back into the freezer and, and make it take a, like several days yeah. to eat all of this. If you're eating it by yourself. I mean, for a party, this is fancy pants party, right. but for myself, I would I would just take it out one little cake at a time. Yeah, so I would absolutely recommend it just based on the ingredients, based on a nutrition label. Uh, I think this is a great way to go, especially if you're having a party or something like that. Now I did reach out to them and ask them for a coupon code. So they did give us a coupon code. I'm gonna leave it here down below. I believe it's two crazy ketos five. And that will get you $5 off of your order if you're interested in getting one. I will leave a link for it down below. So let us know down in the comment. First of all, I wanna know what is your favorite flavor cheesecake? If, is there a flavor that they don't have that you would be interested in? I This was really that good. That was really good. I would this was really, really good. be interested in the strawberry one. Me too. I would too. be very, very interested yeah. in that one. So let us know down in the comment section uh, if you've tried these, what your favorite flavor cheesecake is. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we've linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way, subscribe to our channel, and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we taste something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.